Alright, a follow-up video, just to point out a few extra things. The sort of work that you sort of need to do, or the amount of work you need to do afterwards, um, it doesn't really bother me, like considering you know, there's good value for money. But things like, what you'll need to do is uh, sort of relieve out the fuselage in here. So you're not, not getting the full range of motion in the down elevator position there. Obviously fitting the, the ball links in there. Uh, <coughs> things like having to relieve into the wing a bit further in there to allow for enough up, up travel. This is probably a good example. Here's the aileron here. So you can see there it's just the the uh, the horn is just hitting the wing there, so it's not not really enough up aileron, so I have to just relieve that a bit. I've put the sandpaper, oh, particularly on the flap, I've put the sandpaper in between the wiper and the gap to uh, just to make that to, to make that a bit more uh, friction free. What, oh, what I was going to show you was the the profile. I've never being being a B pilot. I'm, I've um, let's get this orientation right. Actually, I might show you on the on the flap, and if I can. Sorry about that. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. Oh. Now I'm used to sections like RG15 and RG14, etc. Just just to show you that we're at a clean flat position on the on the route there. I don't know if this is coming in loud and clear, but I don't know if you can see how much. Uh, what would you call it, under camber or cusp there is. This is almost like a free flight section. So given the fact that it's going to be about 1.8, 1.9 kilos or 66 ounces with a section like that, I'm expecting it to uh, really float and hang around. The only downside that I can... If, if there was one bit of criticism I'd have... That's the uh, the leading edge. I don't know if it's showing up on the video or not. You can make just make it. A, that's not going to work. Try this one. Just make it a half a millimeter lip, just there where there's the lower surface and the upper surface, and not they've misaligned. So there's just this little five. Oh, sorry, half half millimetre lip, and it's not flashing because the control, the, so the lower surface rolls around right to that point. So that'd be my only criticism. Other than that, it's uh, it's good value for money.